The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. The second game to spring from Johnny Hart's popular caveman themed comic strip. Riding on his stone wheel once again, Thor must avoid all manner of obstacles while collecting enough clams to pay the toll at each bridge in BC's Quest for Tires 2, Grog's Revenge. Hopefully, you've discovered this from the original BC Quest for Tires. If not, then hang fire, and I'll link that later in the video. The original, of course, being the continually scrolling game, in which you need to avoid loads of obstacles and rescue your girl. However, in this sequel, Thor is out and about again, but this time to find the meaning of life, as a freewheeling caveman on a mission. You see, the meaning of life is said to be found atop an ancient mountain, the last in a range of five. To get there, you'll need to navigate a network of caves which run through the very mountains themselves, and along winding tracks which circumnavigate them. Linking each of the mountains are toll bridges that you must cross, getting you a step nearer to your goal. However, everything comes at a cost, and this is where your game objectives come into action. On screen, the mountains are shown one at a time, on a small radar in the bottom right. On this radar, you will see all of the cave entrances, a symbol representing Thor, and one of Grog, the antagonist of the game. I have no idea why the game is named Grog's Revenge. I don't think he had much of an antagonistic role in the first game, unless Grog was portrayed as the fat woman wanting to club Thor in the head during one of his turtle hopping episodes. But anyway, let's just say he wants you dead again in this game too. Was it a woman with the club in the first game or was it Grog after all? I have zero clue. Anyway, in this game, Grog himself is a herbal with feet and a huge nose. The top part of the mountain Thor is currently on is shown on the top half of the screen in reasonable graphical detail. It scrolls left to right, depending on the direction you're going in and the scrolling is really smooth with awesome sound effects, but does get a little jerky at a higher speed. Back when I was 4 or 5, I didn't know you could see Grog's location on the minimap, so the first time I played this, I was just trundling around, minding my own business, trying to get some of these blue clams so I could progress to the next stage. When I come out of the cave, and suddenly the warning music is playing. Oh God, where is it? Which way do I go? Whatever I choose, I invariably ran into Grog, resulting in both me and my little mate who was sat with me screaming in terror. Probably my most nostalgic memory playing this game. What are these blue clams? Ah yes, to cross a toll bridge, you must pay the exorbitant sum of 100 clams to a waiting tollman. Luckily, the mountains have a plentiful supply of clams lying around, as you can see. And in case you've never seen a clam on a mountain, you should know that these are the lesser spotted craggy peak clams. They also make a very nice sound when collecting them, which is helpful when travelling at speed. With that goal in mind, you, as the player, are asked to brave the narrow mountainside paths in an attempt to collect enough clams. This is by no means easy, as Thor moves quite swiftly, and once he starts moving, he won't stop for anything other than the many faces of death hit a pothole or a rock. Ouch! Ride too close to the mountain wall. Splat! Slip off the edge of the mountain path. Ah! Blunder into a falling stalactite inside one of the dimly lit caves. Crash! Have your tyre gobbled by the massive, green, loathsome tyrodactyl, which inhabits the higher levels. Crunch! All these deaths are depicted in hilarious cartoon style, but Thor's main problem is in the form of a sort of time limit. The mighty Grog is pounding his way down the mountainside, collecting clams as he goes, and hungry for revenge. Represented as a white diamond on the radar, as mentioned earlier, you'll soon know if he appears on your level from the ominous tune that echoes forth. Should you ever see Grog's nose appear at the edge of the screen, then you know all is lost. Thor is unceremoniously pulled off screen, and Grog makes a sudden and noisy entrance. 
It's so easy to get killed off in the caves as they're dark, and so a source of light is needed to see the way through. Thor, being way ahead of his time, appears to be carrying a flashlight with him. Unfortunately, the torch isn't very powerful, and only a small amount of the screen is shown under its light. This effect is pretty cool though, and makes the going tough on higher levels. If you're struggling for lives when you reach a toll bridge, then be sure to have 24 or so clamps over the quarter, and you'll receive an extra wheel, of which you are given 5 to begin. BC2 Grog's Revenge is not an easy game, in fact, it can be very difficult at times, made all the more taxing by the fact that once the game has started, you don't have the ability to break and stop your wheel, with the exception of when turning around on a mountain, exiting the cave, or by losing a life. As you know from what we've already explained, everything on the mountain wants you dead, so good luck with this one. Saying that though, the controls are generally good, save for maybe being a little bit finicky with what constitutes a wall or not, or a fall or not. It's just a matter of getting used to it. BC2 Grog's Revenge is an easy game to pick up and play. Well, I guess that could be said about most games, but the concept of picking up stuff makes this game a blast to play, and the different difficulties gives it some replayability, which, given the general monotonous design of the game, helps a lot. I may question Thor's common sense in that he picks up clams by seemingly squashing them with his stone wheel, but like the original BC's quest for tyres, I choose not to question the game's ability to entertain. Good fun this one, get it fired up on your Commodore 64. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and do be sure to let me know what you thought of Grog's Revenge in the comments. Also, if you are enjoying the nostalgia, then maybe consider subscribing to the channel and following me on this epic journey down memory lane. There's plenty of other games up on the channel playlist, and another coming up. Here's a cool commercial I found for the ColecoVision version of the game, which I thought was cool. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now. The quest continues for the first man in a quest for clams. It's fast, it's furious, it's scary. Follow Thor, Grog, and friends in a brand new BC adventure. And discover the secret of Grog's Revenge, the latest computer game from Coleco. <laughs>